So welcome to the Orchid Project. I'm going to take you inside and tell you a few things about it. So uh, follow me into the greenhouse. Okay, we're inside. Uh, if you've not been in the greenhouse, what you've got here is uh, six different sections growing in different climate zones. And we have one of the largest collections of orchids anywhere in the world. Uh, and in that we've got about a thousand orchid species. And each of them have got stories about the rainforest they come from and the pollinators they react with. Let me, let me find you one in particular. So over here, this one is called Stanhopia tigrina, and this orchid is the largest flowered orchid in the world. It comes from uh, Central America, so it's a plant that we've seen in Guatemala and also grows in Mexico. It's pollinated by a euglicine bee, so the bee scrapes perfume from this part of the flower here, uh, and because it's slippery, it falls off and takes the pollen from the bottom and pollinates the flower. Uh, down below it, you can see we've got lots of young plants. So these are all seedlings that have come out from our lab. And these are plants that will flower in about uh, three to four years. And so these are the plants that uh, we sell to fund the project and also the work that we do uh, abroad. In here we have, uh, this is Anglican Magdalene. This comes from Madagascar and we've worked with uh, Kew Gardens on Madagascan orchids. Uh, this is the National Flower of Belize in Central America and uh, this is called Prostechia cochleata though in Guatemala they call it the green squid orchid and I think you can see why. Uh, this plant is called a Bulbophyllum and comes from Southeast Asia. Uh, this flower looks a little unusual and actually it smells of uh, rotten meat and it's there to attract flies that pollinate it thinking that they found somewhere to lay eggs. This is the uh, cool Asia section so uh, this plant here is called Vanda falcata and comes from Japan. We've got the blue orchid here which comes from the Philippines and is pollinated by sunbirds. In the orchid project, uh, students work in the greenhouses here to learn everything about orchids and then they pass on those skills to young people in other parts of the world. So we are currently working with schools in Rwanda and schools in Borneo in Sarawak and in those places it's uh, students from Rithlington and Mendip that give workshops to the young people over there to train them in all the skills and help them learn the knowledge about the their own plants that they find in the rainforests. When we work with students in rainforest schools we also go out and explore the rainforest this helps us to grow our plants better and also allows students to do research. We've won Young Scientist of the Year three times and that's been for students uh, from Middlington and Mendip who have carried out research on orchids and how they grow in the wild. The orchids we grow in the greenhouse here we use in shows and the other thing we use them for is to produce seed. So here are some seed pods on one of our orchids and each of these seed pods will contain about a million seeds. So we're able to grow very large numbers of plants in the school propagation laboratories and then grow them onto bigger plants in the greenhouse. So behind me you can see the growth room. This is where we grow thousands of plants from seed. So if I bring out one of the jars, you can have a look at what's in here. It's like uh, one there. So this is, uh, this is a rare plant from the Himalayas. So this is Cymbidium hookerianum. We are the only people in the UK that grow this plant from seed. We had one seed pod and we managed to produce several thousands of plants. So some of those are going back to the Himalayas to help in the wild and uh, some of them then we're using in the Orchid Project for uh, other things. Uh, the Orchid Project gives lots of spin-off projects uh, for students in Rhythlington and Mendip and uh, a recent example is a group of Year 11 students who won the second prize in the National Amazon Innovation Competition for Technology. And I'd like to see their video now. Thank you for watching. We are Rainforest Dragon, and we are concerned about the twin problems of rainforest loss and educational inequality. An area of a rainforest the size of a football pitch was destroyed every six seconds in 2019. This destruction reduces biodiversity and ruins the lives of communities who rely on the rainforests. This also adds to the CO2 emissions contributing to global warming. Communities who live by rainforests are poor and educational opportunities are limited, reducing life chances for individual children and their communities. We believe the solution to these linked problems is better education for rainforest communities, 
focused on STEM subjects and our idea is a unique schools initiative based on data loggers and a web hub linking children, electronics, rainforests and conservation across the globe. At the heart of our idea is an electronic data log kit based on the Raspberry Pi. The unique feature is that children in rainforest schools will be able to build their own, learn about electronics and collect their local data from their own rainforest. Our website has two functions. The first is for rainforest schools to upload the data. The second is for students in developed countries to access this data as part of a subscription, enhancing and improving learning globally. Four members of our team have devised and run science-based workshops for children in Borneo. We know children's enthusiasm and excitement for opportunities to learn new things in schools with limited resources, and so we have devised electronic workshops that can be delivered online or in person. We already have rainforest schools and communities in South America, Africa and Southeast Asia signed up to the project. We have considerable interest in developed countries, including the US, with world leaders in conservation backing the project. Hello, we are Farmer Girl students. We are interested in the project because we want to be involved in the design of technology to grow digital forests in Rwanda. Thank you. The future will see us develop our idea through trials in the UK and our partner schools. Establish our funding model based on the website members area for schools in developed nations. Expand our global marketing campaign through conservation networks, publications, televisions and events. Every room for us has local communities and schools. Our ideas support a better future for both and an exciting way for children across the world to be part of a better future.